you all types of deals. You gonna regret it. It might be murder night up in the paint tonight. Ah! Stop! Enough people have died over this month. The final episode of P Valley, episode eight, and it was a doozy. I predicted one major plot twist and I got the other one wrong. And guess who decided to come back and help me because the baby mm -hmm. is sleeping. Y'all got a two for one today. Mm -hmm. My loving wife is back on this track with me to break down episode eight. She's already had a chance to see our homegirl Sharana from Pair of Weight who's done a review and she'll be on this channel live tomorrow. Let's break it down. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. I'm Lamont. This is Crystal. Baby L is asleep. For those of you that always want to see her, I will bring her up here when she's awake. Be sure to turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're not investing, download the Robinhood app. Get a free stock when you download it. Let's dive into it, honey. <laughs> this episode picks right back up from last week when they was getting ready to shut down the club. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to be the last dance. Mm -hmm. Because your boy, Uncle Clifford, done mismanaged his money about to lose the club. Right. All right. So you got all these story narratives going on. Big L is doing side deals. Diamond running the front door trying to get everybody to sign petitions. Clifford done went and had his little fling thing with Lil Murder. Lil Murder in the club trying to get a record deal from Guap Music Seat, Guap Music Manager. Is it Big Guap or something big, like that? Big Guap. Yeah. And homeboy really came there to see Mercedes. Mississippi. At, miss, oh, oh, excuse me, Mississippi. M I cricket letter M cricket whatever however y'all said. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Haley is stuck in the room with Montavious. And then last but not least, Mississippi's boyfriend and baby daddy is looming around the club, yanking on her tail strings. Right. In the very beginning of this episode, honey. We see Little Murder standing behind the stage, getting ready to go up there, mm -hmm. and it's turned up. Right. His actually, I kind of like this music, to be honest with y'all, a little bit. He comes to the stage, do his dance, everything looks good. Music producer walks in. What was your first impression when you saw that whole scene? Well, I guess it was about to go down. He, he got his ego boost and his confidence boost from Mississippi. <clears throat> Hey, I wanted to get up and dance, boy. I was all up in this thing. Go ahead. You don't dance. Go ahead. I was about to today. Oh, well, that's a lot to get him up and dancing. So. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, yeah, like so you know it was about to go down. Basically, he went up there, did his thing. Mississippi did her thing. And now you ready for them to strike a deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as we're getting closer to them deal striking, they go back and forth letting you see the story unfolding with Haley and Montavious. Mm -hmm. So we finally got her full backstory and his backstory. He is some kind of a gangster. Haley was a business accountant. Mm -hmm. So it leads me to believe that she could have been washing the money for his organization. He also highlighted how he took her and her child in. Right care for her child and mm -hmm. Haley tried to run out on him right and she took whoever this new dude she was in love with and hung his ass over the side of a of a building but why did she run out on him was he abusive i'm assuming he was abusive they show little clips in the past right of her running you know her mm -hmm. getting abused so. yeah i i think he was probably abusive and just because you love somebody's child don't mean you can be abusive to the damn mother i mean come on man if that's what really went down with them. Mm -hmm. And so this whole episode, we're trying to figure out who's going to get killed. Mm -hmm. How is this thing going to resolve with the pink? They had they done this in eight episodes. And as we start getting further along in the story, ladies and gentlemen, we see the big guap manager mm -hmm. pull <clears throat> Little Murder and in Mississippi into a little private room. Right. He's really not interested in Little Murder. Not at all. He could care... He is really interested in crooked letter, crooked letter. Yeah, but he know he has to do business with a little murder mm -hmm. in order to get to mm -hmm. Mississippi. Now, this is the part y'all going to love tomorrow when Larry get up here. Y'all know how Larry and Sharonda bump heads about the definition of man and woman. Larry has been saying to y'all, you can't be a rapper and be openly gay because they're going to call you a bitch and all that. You seen that happen in that little scene when... Uncle Clifford came in there, 
put his hand on Little Murder, and Little Murder turned on him. And when Uncle Clifford left out the room sad and upset, probably, I feel him to some degree, but I'm going to break that down in a second. The big guap manager was calling him a bitch and saying this stuff about bitch-ass niggas, and he didn't want fake-ass niggas and all this kind of stuff rolling with him. How do you think that scene went down? Are you... Are you on Uncle Clifford's side in the way he felt, or do you understand why Little Murder made well, the movie he made? I can understand both sides. Mm -hmm. I think they portrayed it in more of a realistic way. Um, if it was to happen, that's how it would go down. Mm -hmm. Where he has, where um, what's his name? Clifford. Uh, the other one. Little Murder. Little, Little Murder has to protect his reputation. Right. Or right. else he's not going to get a, mu a, a music deal. Especially when the guy just said he need real gangsters. Mm -hmm. He ain't interested in nobody perpetrating. Yeah. So he has to make a decision of whether or not he's going to be true to himself and come out and, and try to make it an industry that way or continue to hide how he really feels about Uncle, Uncle Clifford. Now, I, I feel for both, but personally, I don't understand how Uncle Clifford could be that mad with him after they met, after the, the, their meeting was over and mm -hmm. Little Murder came to Uncle Clifford's room. But ladies and gentlemen, did we not see something coming between Diamond and Keyshawn's baby we daddy? That all I season. mean, we've been forecasting that because the tension, the sexual tension, the tension in general between Diamond and Mercedes, I mean, excuse me, uh, Mississippi has been there. But what really made me mad and a lot of people mad is. The baby daddy and Diamond, they getting it in in the bathroom fighting. The fight starts leading to gunshots being shot with them and also gunshots being shot in the paradise room with Montavious, Uncle Clifford, and Mercedes, and Haley, right? So as they're having a fight, and ladies and gentlemen, this was more of a closer fight than what it looked like because Diamond is a big boy. Mm. And the baby daddy was getting the best of him till the end. And when he had the best of the baby daddy, it was disheartening to see Crooked Letter come in there and hold the gun right. on Diamond. To protect her. What was you thinking daddy. about that? Right. How did you feel about that? I was shocked, but then again, I wasn't. Um, I guess when you look at the psychology of a battered women, mm -hmm. you know, they are going to protect they're the the man that they so called love. Yeah, they feel like they love they love them. It's like so, Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, you protect the one who's beating you mm -hmm. in essence. Mm -hmm. And um, just to fast forward a little bit, we saw what happened in the paradise room, and they didn't exactly let you know who got shot in there. But there was a couple of times I was upset with Mercedes. Number one, when she first came in there with the bottle, she realized what was going on. Instead of cracking the bottle so that you could have a razor's edge. Why you ain't just cluck the dude on his head? Come on, Mercedes. You know I've been caking up for you the whole entire... I dropped Haley for you, Mercedes. That's what I did. Oh, and then let's fast forward to after we... they Someone in there got shot. And they didn't let us know who it was. They played it as though Haley got shot. We see Mercedes go to her mama's um, church and sitting on the side. And I totally hated the scene where Mercedes was begging for her mama's love. Mm -hmm. What did you think yeah. about that? I didn't like that. I didn't like that scene either. Um, it was sad. Right. And yeah, I wish she, wish she hadn't, hadn't done it. But what that tells me is the fact, it tells me that Mercedes is the one who pulled the trigger. Right, right. So for her mm -hmm. to be so torn up and running back to her mother, um, you know, asking for basically a way to a way to God, right, um, tells me that she's the one who put tore the trigger and she's torn up about it. Because uh, they still didn't per se let you know that she did it, but I'm sure they'll take that into next season. Yeah, and it also just lets you know how emotionally scarring shooting someone can be. Mm -hmm. And so we fast forward. We, they're going into a place. We're kind of thinking it's a funeral because everybody's dressed in damn black. Now, I knew. You knew. You knew. Because they. But, but you didn't know till you seen the mayor come in there dressed like he's from Detroit in all that red. But they were saying two days. Right. It was right. two days ago. Whatever mm -hmm. the shooting was two days ago. You don't get a funeral together that fast. You do if you're Michael Jackson. But not in, in your not typical in Chuck situation. Alisa, yeah, in Chuck Alisa, or just in <laughs> typical, you don't usually have a funeral two days after somebody dies. Right. And so I, I, if they were going to a funeral, I didn't think it was one of those three from the club. Funeral. Right. I figured it was somebody else that the grandma knew, grandmother knew. Yeah. <laughs> um, and by the way, Loretta Devine is 
fine like wine. I mean, whenever she is in something, you don't get no better acting than that. And she is playing the hell out of retired grandmama that was a stripper. Grandmother. Grandmother that was yeah. a stripper. I loved her ass uh -huh. in this thing. So they're at this auction, ladies and gentlemen. Andre is back there with his wife and the mayor. And then in swoops in Haley, who we now know is alive, so we know ain't nothing happened to her. She outbids him. The mayor is hot as hell. Andre looking at her, and in the very end, the wife looked at Haley and she, looked at Andre and probably realized, oh, this is who you've been no, spending your time Andre with. Andre let her outbid him. Uh, well, he didn't have no more money. But the guy was on the phone. All he had to do was say the word. Oh, the okay. guy was on the phone. He was saying, hello, So you think hello. the guy was going to get him the money? He probably was. Okay. He probably was. So then that would say that next season, Andre is going to be stuck back in Chuck Elisa chasing behind Haley. Mm -hmm. And the wife walked out mad looking at Haley like, mm -hmm. you let this be get it? Yeah, the wife is suspicious. Yep. Now what they will have to kind of continue on next week is... Um, next next season. Next season is Martavius is attached to some type of gang. Gang. Mob, gang, whatever. And he sounds like he's the boss. And they probably going to be trying to figure out what happened And to if him. he got shot, we don't know if he died yet. And we don't know what they done with the body. Because right. in the end, Uncle Clifford said... Mercedes is taken care of. Uh huh. It's took care of. Yeah. It, it took care of. Yeah. <laughs> yes. At the pink. At the pink. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah. So they're gonna have to continue that out. So eventually that that mob or that gang is gonna be after Haley and them for, mm -hmm. for killing Martavius. Yeah. I will say I like the sisterhood or you know the I guess you can call it a sisterhood amongst Mar Mercedes and Haley and Haley mm -hmm. um, and that the fact that she went in there protect trying to protect her girl. Right. Right. So and Haley who could have left. And has ran from every situation. Changed her mind. Changed her mind, came back. Not only did she came back, but she wound up buying the pink as a favor back to Uncle Clifford for him coming in with the gun to save them. And I really enjoyed the season, ladies and gentlemen. This was a damn good show once you got past the first episode. Mm -hmm. I would have loved for them to have drugged this out two more, two more episodes. But hey, they've been renewed. We enjoyed it. Overall, it's very entertaining. I love the Southern dialect. I love Isaiah Washington in this. He added some flavor to it. Of course, Loretta Devine is going to always step up any production she's in. She puts some panache on anything she's in. Any final words, honey, before this battery dies? No. <laughs> I enjoyed the show. I mm -hmm. look forward to next season. Right. That's it. That's quick enough for you. That's it, man. <laughs> okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. We will talk about this live tomorrow night a little bit more in depth, along with Power, along with the boys, and also Lovecraft Country, episode number four. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life gain. Follow me on Instagram, and if you're not investing, go on ahead and download that Robin Hood app, start investing. You'll get a free stop by using my code. And until the next Sex is Hell video when I bring L, I'll see you.